A former Sports Direct worker has told a modern slavery trial that he was controlled by a Polish couple who made him sign over his wages. Yaroslav Kilian described being kept in appalling conditions in a caravan in Nottingham. And he said workers face threats and violence. Well, our social affairs correspondent Jeremy Ball is at Nottingham Crown Court. Jeremy, how did it all start? Well, Mr Killian said he accepted a bus ticket from Poland after being offered well-paid work and accommodation here in Nottingham. But he said the conditions he ended up in were unbelievable. Mr Killian was speaking through an interpreter. He was visibly distressed at times. He said at first he was sent to paint houses, sometimes without being paid. And he described the living conditions in two caravans here in Aspley, where some workers were forced to share beds, he said, and where the only toilets and washing facilities were in a garage that didn't have heating and that was full of pigeons and hens. And what did he say about his time at Sports Direct? Well, he worked there for nine months or so after he was sent to an agency that was given a false address for him and he told the jury that he was packing shoes and clothes for Sports Direct shops. He said Bazina Parcheska, though, kept his bank card so he couldn't access his account and he was told instead to get his wages paid to her husband in the baseball cap, who he called Derek. And the jury heard the couple kept half his pay. They also charged him extra for bills and they've both been charged both with fraud and with subjecting Mr Killian to forced or compulsory labour. Jeremy, why didn't he leave them? Well, he told the jury that everyone was afraid, so scared of violence that they wouldn't go to the police. Uh, he t said that uh, Derek assaulted him one night after he stayed over with a friend. He said another friend who tried to look for a new job ended up in hospital in such a bad condition that people couldn't recognise him. And he also said workers weren't brave enough to move because they were worried about losing their jobs at Sports Direct. And Mr Killian's due to face questions from the defence here tomorrow. Jeremy, thank you very much.